I think we got him. We got him. Oh, fish on! I think I'm under. Yep, 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 yep. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cole. I'm out here with my buddy Dakota again out here on the river. You might have seen our video that we posted like three weeks ago. We were out here doing some catfishing. We caught a few but we got our outing cut short by some rain. So we're back out here. We don't have a whole lot of time to fish this afternoon. We have about two hours of daylight to work with but I think that's plenty of time for us to catch some catfish. We've got some cut shad. We've got some, I don't know what all kind of baits we have. We have some small bluegill. We got a little bit of everything that we're hoping that we'll be able to catch some catfish today as well as a bunch of rods. We got some rods we're gonna float some baits off the bottom and then we have some rods of course we're gonna put some baits on the bottom with. Um, this is a nice spot. The current is rolling really well. The sun is kind of starting to set a little bit so things should line up for a pretty good catfish bite. So guys, if y'all are excited to join along with us on this catfishing adventure, I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of these future fishing adventures. But with that being said, we've got to get our lines in the water and get some catfish on the stringer. Let's go. We got him. We got him. I can't tell how big he is though. Not that big, but I'll take it. <laughs> A monster blue cat. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Get up here. Get up here. You gonna flip him? Yeah, I'll pull him up. Woo! There we go. Got a nice blue cat down there. I'm gonna try to pull him up the side of this wall without getting my crap all tangled up. Oh, I need some gloves. My hands gonna get cut up. Oh, we're almost there. I can see the bobbers. Yeah. And there you have it, folks. There is my first catfish of the day. Tossed it up in there into that little gate, floating a piece of shad on there. And uh, we got him. What you got, Dakota? Nice. Dude, that's a big old white bass. Nice one. Ain't that little square bill? Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna add this channel catch the, to the stringer. And we're gonna get back out there. Oh, fish on! Dude, I just like twitched it. That's another catfish. He's stuck on a big old freaking log down there. <laughs> that was crazy. I just like kind of twitched it. And I was getting my line off the wall. I'm using braid and I don't want my braid to rub up against that wall. And this guy here just munched it. Not a monster, it's like a little blue cat. We're gonna try if we can straight reel this sucker up here. Up the wall. Up the wall, baby. Boat flip. Boat flip. Woo! There we go. There we go, guys. That is a blue cat. You can tell the difference by their anal fin right here. The channel cats is more round, and then the blue cats is more pointy like that. Beautiful fish. Throw him on the string. That's like the perfect eating size. A little two pounder. Think any better than that. Except for if we could catch like a 50 pounder. That's better. 50 pound. Yeah, 50 pound blue cats are better than two pound cats. I will say that confidently. This right here is the bait that I'm using. Just a piece of gizzard shed. Got a little bullet weight. And then at the top, I've actually got two big old floats to kind of help keep it up. Just help make it extra visible. Chunk it back down there. See if we can get another fish. All right, that was a perfect cast unless the bait fell off when I hit the wall. Uh-oh. They're about to do something. Yeah, they're gonna open this up some more, shut it down some. We'll see what happens. I can't really tell how much you can see back up in there, but there's these big little gates right here. And um, every time a bobber has gotten to the back of the gate, I've gotten bit. And right now it's like as far back as it has been. But the issue is there's a bunch of sticks back there. And so your line gets all caught up in these sticks while it's floating around. So I don't know, it's definitely stuck in some sticks right now. So I don't know what's gonna happen if I get a bite. I guess I'm just gonna just try to pull and see if we can horse them out of there. If I hook a big one, it's gonna get sketchy. I think I'm under. Yep, 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 yep. Decent one, decent one, decent one. We got a lot of freaking sticks in our way though. It feels quite large, unless I just hooked a stick. No, there's a fish on there still. Oh, a decent fish, bro. 
I can't tell how decent. It, oh yeah, get off them sticks. Definitely the biggest iFlux so far, I think. I keep them off the wall though. Yeah. Don't know what it is. It might be a flathead. No, oh, it's a no, it's a blue cat. Another nice blue. That bait just drifted all the way back in that back corner. You get stuck on those sticks and you can't really tell how big they are. This rod's not the stiffest of catfish rods, I will say. But it's pretty good. I'm actually, I don't think I'm gonna pull this one up the side of the wall. I think it's too big. So I'm gonna walk him down here, nice and gingerly. We're gonna have to go underneath my other rod here. Hopefully nothing pulls it in the water while we're dealing with this guy. Come on down. Just gonna walk him down this wall here. I'm taking him to go hang out with his buddies. I have seriously got to invest in a drop net. There is too many places that Jay and I fish that a drop net would come in handy. It's gonna get kind of difficult, I think, because the current's gonna be trying to fight against us. I'm just keep his head up and drag him down here. I feel pretty good about my line. I've got, oh, oh, there he goes. I feel pretty good about my line. I've got 20 pound braid, which I probably could do a little bit better than that. But then I have 30 pound mono attached to it. Just get down here. That looks slippery. Whew. That's a lot for a little catfish. I don't even think he's five pounds. He's hooked really good though. There we go. He's probably close to five. Definitely not as big as I thought it was whenever I first hooked him, but we were just dealing with all those sticks. But there we go, guys. That's the third catfish for me, I think, for the afternoon. Dakota's caught a couple. Nice, another blue catfish. You can tell by the anal fin, nice and pointy. That's another good eating sized fish. Let's get him on the string and get back up there. We have about an hour of daylight left. I think we can catch some more. There we go. There we go. Oh gosh. Oh. Dang, it's not even a big fish. He almost pulled a pole in the water. Oh man. Oh, that was crazy. I'm trying to catch my other pole out here. This is a tiny little fish. Let me just get him up here. Look at this tiny catfish that just almost took my pole out in the water. Oh, trying to catch my big rod out there. We're running out of daylight pretty quickly. And uh, <laughs> this little guy literally almost took the rod out in the water. That was crazy. That's my fourth catfish. He's a little guy. He's definitely a good eating size, but I'm just gonna toss him back in to save some time. All right, well, it's dark now. We didn't catch any more catfish, unfortunately. I thought we were going to start slaying them as it got dark. I had some opportunities, I missed them. I don't know if they were catfish or gar. I wish I would've caught them and found out. But either way, we caught some nice fish today. We're gonna start making our way back to the car and I guess I will catch you guys back at the house. All right guys, we're back. It is the next morning. I got in pretty late last night, so I just decided to let the catfish sit on ice overnight. And, uh, but now we are ready to clean them up. I've got all the tools at hand that I usually have. Electric fillet knife here, it's the Bubba Electric Cordless Fillet Knife. I've got, of course, my catfish. I've got a bowl of water over here. And uh, we're gonna whip through these catfish as fast as possible and then get them ready to eat for lunch today. Man, it has gotten quite hot out here this afternoon, but we are ready to start cooking up our catfish. I've already got them mostly prepared. I've got a big old quart, or this, I guess is a gallon size bag. I've got some of this here fish fry in there. It's just the Louisiana blue bag mix, seasoned crispy, one of our favorites. And then I have some of our catfish fillets already um, prepped and in there, I've got them all shook up. So now all we have to do is throw them into the deep fryer and get them cooked up. One thing though that I am a little bit worried about is um, we have some big clouds coming in, heading this way. It's thundering. I'm hoping that I can get this fish cooked before it starts raining. If you remember the last catch and cook video we did with the bluegill, it was just raining nonstop while I was trying to cook these fish. So hopefully we can get these fish done before it starts raining. We're gonna do um, fried catfish fillets, some french fries, some hush puppies, just your standard greasy old fried food, but it's gonna be delicious and uh, can't wait to see how it tastes. Looks like our oil is ready, nice and hot. There's one of our coated piece of catfish fillets. I got them all trimmed up nice to where they'll fry it nice and evenly. Ooh, looking good. Looking good off the bat. That's a good one. Look at this chunk right here. That's gonna be so delicious.
All right, let's take a look at our fish, see how we did. Oh man, those boys right there are crispy as heck. Mmm, those look so good. Whoop, we lost one. Man, those catfish fillets look so good. I cannot wait to try them out. But first, we've got to cook our french fries. These are pretty good. Let's throw them in the fry daddy and then let's put everything together and let's see how it all tastes. Look at all of this good food, folks. This is our finished product. We have our fried blue catfish, we have some french fries, and then we have three little hush puppies because the slab queen requested some hush puppies. I gotta have the hush puppies. How are you doing today, Jay? You doing all right? I'm doing great. Awesome. Yeah. How's the little man doing? He said, I'm pretty awesome. He said, I'm always awesome. He said, it's a little warm out here, but we do have some clouds. That storm is starting to come in, <laughs> and that's gonna be nice if we can get some rain. It'd be super nice. Cypress, you wanna eat some catfish? Hey, you want some catfish? He said, I don't know. <laughs> he said, I might be starting to get some teeth though. Yeah. And drooling a lot. My gummies kind of hurt a little bit. It makes it's us a little sad. sad. It makes us a little sad. We need those teeth to bust through so we can start feeding you some fish. <gasps> oh boy. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Guys, I have a great feeling about this. It just smells good. It looks like it crisps up well. And Blue Cat is, honestly, I feel like underrated. It's mm -hmm. really, really good. Jay's already going in for the french fries. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Good I'm really stuff. hungry. I'm hungry too, so let's just go on ahead and try these boys out. I, like I said, I think it's going to be great. Okay, time to dig in to the fried catfish fillets. This one here looks good. Crispy. Cypress, how you feel about it? Ooh, that looks good. Hey, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Buddy. We cannot wait to be able to share catfish with this boy. I know, bless his heart. I feel bad for eating in front of him. I know, he can smell it though. Whoa. Mmm. Whoa. That's so good. It's really good. It's hard to mess up though, honestly. Mm. I mean, pretty much all fried fish taste good. But the one thing that I always do and I always preach on this channel when cleaning the fish is to always you know, cut out the red meat. And that's what I did with these fish. I trained them up, cut the little bloodline section out and then any additional red meat. And I feel like that is key mm -hmm. to having the best tasting catfish. There's been so many times like we'll eat, eat like store-bought or even restaurant catfish and we'll start biting into it and it gets that kind of like, kind of like greasy, kind of just grimy kind of mm -hmm. swampy taste and you can look at it and it's like that dark spot. So it's really, really important to get it out. And I mean, this is great, this mm -hmm. is so good. It's honestly been a hot minute since we've had some catfish and especially fried catfish. I know. All the catfish we've had has been either uh, grilled or blackened mm -hmm. in the skillet, which those are two also fantastic ways to uh, cook catfish, but this is a real treat. You can't go wrong with fried catfish. Mm -hmm. You know, last mm -hmm. week we tried to go catch some catfish when we caught those bluegill and we failed catching catfish, so this mm -hmm. is like great redemption. Look, Cypress is literally drooling. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Son, you are <laughs> drooling all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> oh, it man. smells good, doesn't it? He said, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> well, now that we've done the official taste test, I think that we're going to kick back and enjoy the rest of this tray of food, dig into the french fries, the hush puppies, it's gonna be great. It was definitely well earned, and uh, it's always fun going out and catching your own fish to cook for lunch. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's episode. Jay and I have some really fun fishing adventures <laughs> planned for this week, so make sure that you are keeping an eye on the channel and uh, being on the lookout for when we post those videos. If we catch something, I've got to catch some cool fish. But guys, if y'all enjoyed this one, do us a huge favor: hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. We're, We're calling Jay and Baby C, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>